So when would you pick one product over another? We're going to look at the three products we discussed at the end of our last video, which here we've got our 10 pay, 15 pay, and HECV, our, our high early cash value policy. Now, the thing about these, they're all products with Mass Mutual. So when I'm looking at these products, I've got the exact same company, the exact same dividend rate, yet when I look at them, I will see different results. So some differences here. One, the 10 pay. How long can you pay into it? The premium is due for a maximum of 10 years. These are some of the differences, specifically how long you can pay into the policy. The 15 pay product, I can pay into it for a maximum of 15 years. And then the high early cash value product, I can pay into it up until age 85. So when determining how long you want to pay into the policy, the product selection gives you different funding periods. How about this question? If you go with a 15 pay, does that mean that you have to pay into it for 15 years? For example, could you stop after four or five years if life happened or if you just wanted to stop? Yes, you could stop early. So to answer that question, do I have to pay into it for 15 years with a 15 pay policy? The answer to the question is no, you do not. The same is true with a 10 pay policy. You do not have to pay into it for 10 years. And the same is true with a high early cash value policy. You do not have to pay into it until you are 85 years old, which is nice. So the funding periods represent how long you can pay into the policy if you wanted to, the maximum funding period. What are some of the differences? Well, if you're interested in the cash value benefit and you're very, very focused on the growth rate, call it the internal rate of return, that's the terminology the insurance company will use, the highest percentage on my money. The 10 pay among mass mutual products will be number one. The 15 pay will be number two. The high early cash value will often range between three and five. A lot of times it's number three, but it does range here. What I mean when I say that is if I am going to treat all of these policies equally and fund $100,000 per year for 10 years, a total of $1 million, the 10 pay will give me the most money especially long-term, but you'll see the most money in that option between years four and five, again, when all things are equal. Because remember, I can have a 15 pay policy and stop after 10 years. The same is true of that high early cash value policy. So again, if I'm focusing here on one company, we often look at more than one company, but here, if I knew that Mass Mutual is the company I want to go with, and I'm looking at the different products, I'm very interested in strong cash accumulation, and I know that I want to pay into it for 10 years or less, you can design that policy to really be attractive. That 10 pay policy where you've got the strongest growth rate, the most money, and you don't have to fund it for more than 10 years. Now, if you said, I might wanna go longer than 10 years, and I don't wanna take a 10 pay out today, and then after 10 years, start a new policy because I don't want to go through the early years again in those expenses, I, I don't like that. I only want to deal with it once, which a lot of people feel like that. So my follow-up question would be, okay, if you're 50 now, a 15 pay is the next best thing to a 10 pay. 15 years, you'll be 65. Do you think that you'll want to fund it longer than 15 years or beyond age 65? And if there's a pause for three to five seconds, I'll say, I won't hold you to any answer. Like this will just help us. It's a nice exercise to help us narrow things down and we can look at all three options side by side. If they say, you know what, 65 at that point in time, I'm gonna be retired. I'm gonna be taking income. I'm looking at phase two of my life. Yeah, not longer than 15 years, but definitely longer than 10. Going back to the 10 pay. Yeah, I, I want that option. I might stop after five years. Who knows? If things go really well, I might stop, but I do want that option locked in where it can go longer than 10. Okay, the 15 pay would work well in this case. Again, assuming there's no chance you wanna go longer than 15 years. If it's longer than that, well, that's where I might progress to the next option, which is the high early cash value product. And then what we would do is look at them side by side. This way I can see the numbers 
I can see the values, cash value and death benefit, all the same company, same out of pocket to me. They're designed in an identical manner. They should be designed in an identical manner. What we don't want to do is skew the numbers to make one look better than the other. So from a design standpoint, what we talked about in our last video, we've got the base premium and then the paid up additions rider. In these three examples, if I'm funding 100K per year, I'd want to make sure my base premium's at 10,000 across the board. I wanna make sure that the MEC limit is at $100,000 for each of them, not the same death benefit, but the same MEC limit. Unless the person expresses, if this is you, unless you express, I want the same death benefit across the board. Then we'll look at it that way. But these products, different death benefits will give you, give you the same MEC limit. What that means is I need, for example, a lower death benefit to get the same 100K MEC limit with the 10 pay compared to the higher early cash value. I know that, that that can be confusing, which is why seeing it side by side helps us make the decision. We can see, okay, take this MEC talk and all this complicated stuff out. If I pay this much money in for 10 years, What's the first year cash value and what does the first year death benefit look like with these three options side by side? How about year two? How about year three? Show me how much it's growing by each year from looking at the cash value growth. If I like percentages, show me the internal rate of return. This way we can see it all side by side, again, with the same company and same product. That has helped a lot of individuals select the option that they're most comfortable with. So I hope that this helps. Please let us know your thoughts and we will see you on the next video. Thanks so much. Hey guys, Steve here with IBC Global. Thank you so much for watching the video. If you're interested in a whole life insurance policy and you'd like to work with our company in setting it up, please visit our website, ibcglobalinc.com. We would love to work with you. If you have any questions, please leave them in the comments below. And as always, I hope this helps.